Hey y'all, so welcome and welcome back. So this DIY will be about a two-piece set made out of a blanket. And so I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to get straight to the video. And guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, child. And also don't forget to follow my business page, Fly Slayin'. So what I did was fold the sheet in half and the outer part would be the inside of the two-piece set. And what I did was just use a um a jean shorts, any shorts you guys could use, pins and a pair of scissors, and that's all we need right now. And we just gonna cut out the shorts, and guys, when you cut out the shorts, make sure you add extra seam allowance. These are blankets, so they do not stretch at all. So I added like at least two inches of seam allowance. Also, I moved the shirt a little upwards because I wanted it to be a high waist kind of. So you see like I have like a lot of blanket space like at the bottom of the jean shorts. And that's why. And the blankets is on fold again, so I just cut a straight line at the bottom. And voila, this is how it will look once you cut it out. So I really like the shorts was a little too high, so I just cut a few inches off the shorts. And all I did was just flip the piece that we um cut out, and I put it on the other side of the blanket, and I cut it out. And as you guys see, I added at least another inch more of seam allowance just because my bottom is pretty big, so I just wanted it to fit me snug. And this is how both of the pieces should look. And now we on to adding the tassels to the side. And what I did was just move the tassels next to the shorts to see how wide it should be. So I could get the exact uh, shape and I just cut it out. And that's basically it. Just, you know, move the tassel next to the shorts to see how far you should cut it. Then we're going to start cutting, like, some fabric out. Um, I tried to cut at least as close as the tassel, but not too close where I'm cutting off the tassel. Just close enough where it's sewable. Then I fold over one side of the shorts, and I put the tassel on the side, but the tassel would be inside the shorts, and the line would be outside, as you guys can see. And after that, I pin it just to make sure everything is in place. I do not want the tassels to be out because, girl, that's going to look ratchet. So, you know, just making sure everything is perfect and easy. So when it's time to sew, everything will go smooth. So, guys, this step is, like, critical. Make sure everything aligns to each other. Like, that is just so important. And I'm just here doing the same stuff with the other shorts. All right, so now this is the fun part, the sewing. So what I did was just, you know, sew a straight line. So I'm using a straight stitch. So um, I think it's just much easier for blankets. So I'm using a straight stitch. And this is how it should look afterwards. Look how pretty. Ooh. All right, guys. So after we do that, we're going to pin the crotch area make sure you do not pin the upper shorts we're not going to pin that we're just going to pin the crouch area so the crouch area is the curve the bottom curve of the shorts and the fabric is still outwards meaning that the green part would be inside 
of my clothes and guys like i want to say like these type of blankets is like so hard to find so when i when i finally found them at a flea market i was so happy i was like yes like these type of blankets is so hard to find all right then so now that the crouch part is sewn what we're going to do is turn one of the pieces of the shorts um outside in and we're going to put that short inside the other shorts and immerse them together and when you guys merge them together make sure it's aligned like the pieces that we just sewn make sure that piece is aligned to the other piece that we just sewn and then we're going to pin that and make sure the the two pieces also align together and we're going to pin that as well now it's time to add elastic band to the shorts and i already cut my desirable size and how i did that was just measure the elastic band around my waist and um how tight i wanted it i figured out how tight i wanted it and i just cut it and that's about it guys it's that simple and what i did was just use that elastic band and fold the shorts in half the elastic band will guide me how wide I wanted to hem the shorts because I'm going to push through the elastic band. You guys are going to see later on in the video. So I needed it to be wide enough so my shorts could move around. I mean my elastic band, guys. Sorry. And once I figure out how wide I wanted to hem the shorts, bam, here I go sewing. I'm also using a straight stitch. This whole project, I'm using a straight stitch. And when you hem the shorts, just make sure you take your time because that part people do see. And as you guys can see, like I'm taking my time sewing that part. And plus I wanted like the fold to be like extra, extra straight because I did not pin it. So I'm just using my finger and my thumb to help me guide it. So now I am using a safety pin to help me move the elastic band around the shorts. Oh yeah, guys, and make sure you do not sew all the way around the shorts. Make sure you leave like a hole, a hole for the elastic band. And all I'm doing is just pushing the safety pin in and pulling. So pushing and pulling. So pushing the safety pin while I'm pulling the rest of the fabric through the elastic band so the elastic band is going through the fabric and i'm just pulling so push pull push pull and what you guys see me doing is just pinning the other end of the elastic band because i do not want the whole elastic band to go through the booty shorts so i'm just pinning it to so it just won't go nowhere so that end won't go nowhere because it's going to be a hassle to pull it out now that safety pin is out the other end and i'm just fixing the booty shorts the elastic band and what i'm gonna do is just tie up the elastic band and i tie i did two knots and sew up the open hole all right guys so we almost done so now we're gonna hem the bottom part of the shorts And this is how the booty shorts will look. Okay, look how it looks. So now we off to the top. And what I did was just fold the blanket like in half kind of. Because I wanted the pointy ends at the bottom. And I just fold it and I put it on myself to see like where should I cut it at. Like I wanted to make sure it fit my body right. So I just put it on and just figure out where I want to cut out the top. And that's really about it, guys. And since it's folded, I just cut the top piece of the blanket. And I just use, I just cut a straight line. All 
all right so i'm just cutting some straps for the back piece of the shirt and i just got a random piece from the blanket and i just measure it like close enough to the shirt and i just cut out the extra pieces that i don't need also, I'm cutting a pointy shape because I wanted it to look a little more sophisticated. So, you know, I just added a little pointy to complement the shirt. I folded it in half and cut out the other piece of the fabric so it could be the exact same shape. And that same piece we just cut out, I just put it right on top of the blanket and cut out the same shape so I could use it on the other side of the shirt. All right, we got our two piece and now I'm just pinning it on to the top and we're gonna use a straight stitch for it. So lastly, we're gonna hang the top part of the shirt and that's about it and like the bottom piece of the strap and that's really it guys we're done hey i'm just happy that we could make a cute outfit out of a blanket <laughs>